Hello everyone, this is Stephen Clark. I hope you're all having a nice time. We're off to Pattaya today in Thailand for another look. About an hour and a half's drive from Bangkok. Apparently there's been a raid by another department of the police force and they've found prostitution there. And the guys from the last raid have all been sacked for not finding prostitution. Let's go and have a look. Paris Spoon, sir. Well done, Sergeant. We'll be back. Pattaya Police Chief transferred for allowing prostitution in Pattaya and also foreign bar owners deported and blacklisted. This was because prostitution and underage prostitution was found at the bar. Bagalamang District Chief said that he had ordered the bar shut for five years and that the case had damaged the image of tourist town Pattaya and the image of the country Thailand. Well, they have to do something when the underage thing pops up on the international radar. Pretty pathetic considering the reputation of Soy 6 in Pattaya. Probably the fact that foreigners were involved and motivated the bus. I'm assuming the other establishments around that area will be keeping their uh, little brown envelopes overflowing in the future. Yeah, you could not help but feel sorry for the owners who invested a lot of money and now lost all of it overnight for doing something everyone else does including neighbours to the left and to the right and opposite. Oh, don't worry, the coming bar will be opened in a few weeks again under a different name and with the same girls there and uh, trust me on that. Well, they did this in Bangkok uh, many years ago. They closed down a massage parlour for similar things and uh, within weeks it was opened under a different name and, you know, even the same girls were working there, so... Don't worry about it being closed and, uh, you know, uh, the, the earth salted where it used to be. It, uh, it'll appear again under a different name. I mean, really? I mean, really? It's prime real estate there. And they're going to leave it empty for five years? Don't think so. Yeah. The chief of Pattaya Police and four of his high-ranking deputies have all been transferred after a raid on coming bar in Soy 6, Pattaya. Uncovering sex for sale and underage sex workers banned and blacklisted the foreign owners are all being deported and blacklisted this has been a swift retribution for local senior police and the owners of the coming bar for allowing prostitution underage sex on their premises in addition the Bunglamang district police chief says the fending bar will be shut for five years for damaging the image of tourism in Pattaya and Thailand. Reports emerged of raids on the coming bar in Soy 6 where evidence of sex for sale and a 70 year old sex worker was found. The owners of the coming bar are a consortium of Taiwanese, Chinese and Thai nationals. The uh, last raid, which I reported on, this is a follow up. How much is 5,000 baht worth? Was well, $232 Australian, $162 US, and 128 pounds. A uh, tourist was killed last week in a motorbike accident, and the Tourist Association Foundation and police handed over a check for 5,000 baht to the family of the dead Russian tourist. Several of the presenting parties are seen smiling from ear to ear, including Police Colonel Pangapong. The uh, media on Facebook said that the money about uh, 162 US dollars is to help the victim's relatives cope. Many voiced their opinion when they said it's embarrassing. 50,000 baht would have looked a little better. And uh, Pungapong was asked, what the hell are you smiling at? And to that, the official word was, it's the thought that counts. That's what comes from their department. It's the thought that counts. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I'll leave you with this thought. Why not legalise prostitution in certain soy, like they do in certain European cities? The government would get some income, more safe for the escorts, more safe for the tourists, and get rid of all the scumbags in the industry. Anyway, that's enough. Police Colonel Pakapong, the Deputy Chumbury Police Chief, or former, sorry, told the media that if tourists or the public see any evidence of prostitution, they can call 191. He also advised 
ensures that there was a tourist place office at the end of the street where officers can be informed directly. Well, somebody did. Well, what did you think of that video? Yeah, should the uh, Thai government legalize prostitution and make it safe for everybody involved? Well, who knows, you know, only the Thai people and the Thai government know that answer. It's not up to us. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until we meet again, bye for now.